Hey guys, uh, welcome to Third Planet from the Black Hole, and uh, we're doing a special video to talk about the release, finally, of the Kong vs. Godzilla trailer. And I'm here by I'm here with fellow Godzilla fan, Kamran Schuster from Sutro Side Talk. So, Kamran, what do you think? What do you think? Dude, I I was very satisfied yet a little like seeing a couple things there that I was like, oh, those don't need to be there. But uh, uh -huh. honestly, overall, I'm I'm pumped. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this, dude. I think I've been waiting for this for the like a year now. Yeah, I uh, when the, back when this channel was D3 Media and I first started doing YouTube, that had to be about like five six years ago maybe i made a video about uh when they first announced that they were making a new uh, kong versus godzilla movie and so that shows i mean how long we've all been waiting for this because this this has been a long time in the in the making Definitely. so uh, i guess let's just talk about the trailer um i'll just start it I uh, I like the legendary Godzilla movies. I think Kong Skull Island was the best one. Uh, I think that you know that there's they could the Godzilla movies that we got could have been better. This looks like the Godzilla movie I have been waiting for because we finally see Godzilla versus the military. We, it looks like we're gonna see him actually destroying buildings and wrecking shit, and you know we get you know the seeing kong on the boat and everything and it chains and the way godzilla moves is like real amphibious looking and everything this everything about this looks it, it's giving me heavy pacific rim vibes and i love mm. it i get you yeah. yeah i i'm really pumped like honestly i think for my my personal favorite is probably king of the monsters though mm. 2014 has sentimental value to me just uh I would consider that a childhood dream come true just because it's like Godzilla San Francisco with some military stuff all together. Uh, for this, I am really pumped and I like that you're seeing a different side of him. Like, it, it honestly, he visually looks somewhat different uh, mm -hmm. in this version. He looks a lot more agile, at least just by his movements and everything else we see him, yeah. whether it's in cities or in the water. It's like a shark the way he like the way his dorsal plates cut that ship in half was just beautiful. Definitely. Yes. How did you feel about uh they're very much at least with this trailer specifically tailoring it more towards Kong a lot more? Um I'm okay with that cuz I love King Kong. Um I King Kong 1933 I think is one of my favorite movies. Um so, you know, and I, I think that they did that because so many people were just convinced that Kong couldn't stand a chance against Godzilla at all. So I think that they really had to kind of sell it that this is going to be, a, you know, that they're equal forces coming together. Oh, for sure. And yeah. I, I, you could definitely see that size difference. Oh, yeah. In Skull Island to who he is now. He looks older, too. It looks like he's got a beard and everything and... You know, everything about it just, it just looks really cool. Yeah. And I guess I, I felt a little weird because I'm getting like the same vibes I got from King Kong versus Godzilla back in the 60s, mm -hmm. where at least back in that time, you know, Godzilla is still like a villain. Like he isn't yeah. good until like, I want to say the fifth movie or something like that. And yeah. So turning. It was like, I guess maybe Gira, the three-headed monster, they yeah, kind of made him. They do a team up. Yeah, and even then, like he's still bad, but he just doesn't like Ghidorah. Yeah, and it's like not until after the Ghidorah movies that they're actually like, "Go Godzilla!" Yeah, save yeah. us. Yeah, they made him a superhero, and I'm not gonna lie, I miss bad guy Godzilla. I so I enjoy. I always enjoyed the destruction, but I think I always loved that he's not. Everyone's not trying to kill him all the time yeah necessarily. I, I, I like that he's new i i want i like him best when he's neutral he's just doing what he needs to do to survive and because yeah, uh, think... some movies vilify him a little too much other movies i think uh make him too much of a hero there's a good balancing act oh for sure i think i mean uh obviously the, the best versions are probably still the high era uh, in terms of keeping it in the middle there oh but... yeah 
at least for this, uh, they, yeah, you definitely feel like, oh, it's Kong is good and stuff. And I also feel like either they're trying to really tailor it to Kong fans or, or like get people like down with Kong. It did not work on me personally, but yeah. uh, obviously I'm still very, very much pro Godzilla in this type of fight, even though yeah. I know the outcome already, but the uh, way they're like, oh, Godzilla is something's wrong with him. Like you see two camps of humans too. Like you have the yeah. uh, King Kong humans that are like, we have to kill Godzilla and use Kong to do so. Yeah. Kind of like the 60s movie. And then you got the uh, cast from king of monsters like you have uh millie bobby brown returning along with um kyle chandler returning and they're playing like the father daughter again yeah and pretty much like at least she and like someone else uh she's teaming up with some people and going like hey godzilla's like this for a reason we need to find out why he's being yeah. like this and i do like that it's like they're not inherently making him a villain like uh at the same time, I, I like that we get to see him destroy stuff, and at the end they'll be like, "He's not a bad guy." I'm like, "Yes." So even he though gets to after get away he, with it. even though after he like kills millions of people by leveling a city, but um, I think what what we're gonna see is it doesn't sound like they're capturing Kong to fight Godzilla. It seems like that they're I think they're capturing Kong for another reason, like because uh, you see those other like dragon snake like creatures in the trailer. You oh, see those Mecha are uh... Godzilla titanus warbats are the name apparently. yeah i think yeah. that they maybe capture those things are like infesting the earth or whatever and godzilla's not around they don't know so they're just like well kong's like their natural predator because they're from skull island maybe so they capture kong to deal with this issue and then godzilla just shows up and he's acting weird that's what it's saying it seems like because like it seems like they're not expecting godzilla to even be a part of this and then he just shows up because godzilla as we know just He's always, he, he reminds me of Frank from Always Sunny in Philadelphia when he was just like, so anyway, I started blasting. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. He just shows up. So I, I love that. I love that Godzilla just shows up. Like in Godzilla versus Mothra Battle for Earth, he just shows up. That's like, very he, true. He is not integral to the plot of that movie at all. He, like, you could get rid of Godzilla and nothing would change, but he just shows up in the movie and it's great definitely so, I, I would tend to agree with that yeah what city is that is that final fight taking place in is that hong kong it's either hong kong or maybe to, like are you talking about with the neon lights yeah is it either hong kong or tokyo it looks one like. of the two i i'm i'm betting on tokyo just because uh the only reason i would say hong kong is because unfortunately like, this is just the truth but they they have also been bending to uh chinese filmmaking or like uh kind of the chinese appealing market to, yeah, yeah. Chi appealing to the chinese market um you actually have like characters in skull island that are completely obsolete they just put them there to uh appeal honestly yeah um, but the politics they, of filmmaking yep it's a fun thing yeah but yeah i think i'm hoping it's tokyo i would really love it if they kind of brought it back and they're like hey check it out the americans brought us to tokyo this should be interesting to say the least yeah i'm hoping that too um you know, I I just think that this is it's gonna be a fun movie. I hope that we don't keep getting that problem. The only one that didn't have that to me was Kong Skull Island, where they keep cutting back to the humans too much and not just focusing on the monster battles. Um, King of Monsters was better, but I think Kong Skull Island was the best, and I hope that we get that kind of pacing in this movie. Because I when I see Godzilla and Kong on screen, that's all I want to see. I don't want to see any people. Unless oh, you're getting gotcha. like burned alive, um, and we finally get some fights in the daytime. It looks like, which is cool. Like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm kind of over the whole fight at night thing. Yeah, no, it's gonna be pure daylight for a lot of these. I mean, obviously, like it, it seemed like there was definitely Kong daylight stuff for sure. Godzilla, yeah, we'll get it more too. And like we're used to seeing Kong in the daylight. At least it looks like the same. Mm -hmm. It definitely has the same feel of Skull Island, to say the least. Yeah. And we do get to see, um, I checked out the IMDb to see who he was, but the guy next to the potential Mechagodzilla screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was that, definitely, it looked like Mechagodzilla or Mogira to some sort of one of those classic mechas. I doubt we'll see Mogira, though. Yeah, I think it's Mechagodzilla just to, he has the same feet structure that Godzilla does. It's like the four toes and stuff. So yeah. I would assume it's Mechagodzilla. 
So what I was more interested in too was the man in front of it was uh, his uh, name in IMDb is Ren Serizawa. So he could oh. potentially be Dr. Serizawa's son. And I'm very curious as to what his, uh, his alignment is. Is he like, oh, I believe in what my father did with Godzilla or is he like estranged from his father? Is he against Godzilla? So maybe he's helping build something so they can defend against monsters if needed. Yeah, like it's all that kind of stuff. I'm very, very. That's going to be interesting, and it makes me even more sad that Doctor Sarazara isn't around anymore. I, I really wish that they hadn't. A spoiler alert that they hadn't killed him off in King of the Monsters because I think he was one of the best characters. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was one of the definitely... only human characters that I didn't mind them cutting back to. Yeah, because he, I mean, he had a role to play, and uh, I wish I could, we could have seen more for sure. Um, I'm actually, I would say it the opposite, where I definitely like. King of Monsters is a lot more than Skull Island. Like Skull Island was really good, but it didn't like blow me away. Where King of Monsters definitely felt like a um, very big homage to all the Toho stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I really like Mike Doherty because he's such a big Godzilla fan. He was like, yeah. "Can I just do all of these things and like bring all these references in and make them actually part of the film?" And they're like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Sweet, all right." Yeah, cool. that stuff I liked. It was mostly the human part of the story that to me and the pacing that kind of killed it for me. But I, I like the the fan servicey stuff i like the the fights and everything it was just i wanted to see more of it oh for sure no yeah. i get that at least it, it kept in line with the regular japanese movies where it's like the same amount <laughs> yeah it seems the japanese the toho movies always pace godzilla's screen time a lot better even even if he shows up like for less amount than he does in the american movies they always do a really good job of pacing because like when they show him they show him and then we cut to the back to the humans it's never like in little bits and pieces throughout the movie that's true they I mean, they yeah. more so do it where it's like he's there for a second and then you don't get him for like 30 to 40 minutes and then you're like yeah. wait what is this movie again oh right, it's got some... <laughs> yeah comes, and then eventually. he comes back yeah and you're like oh right <laughs> but uh yeah i'm i'm excited for this i hope we get to see it in theaters i know with everything going on with this uh event that shall remain nameless um you know it's it's pretty risky going out but uh i hope that we do get a chance to see this in theaters if not it looks like i'm getting hbo max um and uh we don't really have any news on the future of the monsterverse after this so um i'm hoping this isn't the last one what i've heard is i think they don't get they lose the godzilla license after this so mm -hmm. what it sounds like is this will be the exit at least for kong and godzilla specifically mm -hmm. and then they're going to focus on all of the original monsters they've created now and do a bunch of spin-offs with all of them so you could see like behemoth and uh the others and whatnot and they might get their own film i guess it all it all just depends on the success of this film which yeah. is also hard to gauge considering the fact that it's like on the plus side, they now have pretty much March and some of April until like I think Mortal Kombat comes out all to themselves. Like it's just all theirs. Yeah. On the downside, they theatrically won't be that successful, especially like at least for here in San Francisco. I am not optimistic that the theaters will be open in time. I'm actually right. really disappointed with the release date change. Uh, I wanted it to be in May. I'd rather it be in May because it gives me a better chance to be vaccinated and also uh, have the theaters open and potentially be able to attend. But now yeah. with this, my best shot would be if they are open at least for a theater, I would literally have to rent out the entire theater and probably spend whatever amount to watch this movie in a theater. It's surprisingly not as much as you think it is to move, to rent out a whole movie theater, especially now. Okay, well, that's... We'll see what happens then, though, because uh, at least for now, I think they're still closed for us. So yeah, they're 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 closed up where I live too. So, but yeah, um, any final thoughts, Conrad, before we wrap this up? Uh, it's gonna be interesting seeing like I mean, obviously in the first scene, you have to zoom in a bit, but you can tell that God Mechagodzilla is the one like coming out of the ground or doing some destruction there. So the the guess is that it's me Godzilla versus kong and then after that they're gonna put their differences aside probably the mothra egg will hatch and yeah. they'll be like hey quit screwing around you gotta fight mechagodzilla and rodan's still out there too i really hope we get to see a lot of rodan in yeah. this I, i'm that's, like really hoping that's and like they better the, not kill him <laughs> i hated about king of the monsters was that we didn't get a godzilla and rodan fight like that was something i was looking forward to so much and we didn't get that 
So hopefully that we get to see that in the future again. I want to see more of the monster, the legendary monster verse. I like, I like the designs. Um, it is nice having an American uh, made Godzilla movie that's uh, domestic and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see. I know that Toho's got has been teasing a lot of stuff for Godzilla lately too, and I'm excited for that. So you know the the future's looking good for Godzilla fans. Still waiting for a good Godzilla video game though. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah. one day maybe yeah but uh so anyways guys uh thanks for watching uh we got a lot of cool godzilla content planned for the next uh couple weeks up until the uh release of kong skull island so uh Cameron, you want to do your plug right now for sure uh you can check me out at sutra side talk it's a uh, channel that'll have four different shows in it uh sutra side talk a uh weekly video game movie tv show news pos- podcast uh sutra sidewatch a bi-weekly movie analysis podcast up to it down to it and off the rails random topic show and then uh the cut of steel which danny's on uh a dc extended universe uh podcast that pretty much runs through uh each film per episode and we just started with man of steel but you can check uh Sutra side talk out on twitter and instagram and just follow us check us out and hopefully you can like our show and you can listen to danny on cut of steel yeah so. when are we doing a uh, batman v superman uh potentially this coming week weekend uh i think we're doing the commentary oh that's gonna be that's gonna be fun yeah and then the day after we'll do the actual episode so yeah yeah and it'll be me, fun time me and conron will be running through every single godzilla movie ever made on this channel until the release date of Godzilla versus Kong or Kong versus Godzilla, whatever we're calling it. So be prepared for that. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later and be sure to check out third planet from the black or check out third planet dot news. Uh, the link is in the description below. That's our new website. Check that out and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one.